I'll try to be very fast, uh, just uh, at a very long, stride, uh, long uh, uh, slide, and Tau was very particular on how many slides, what are the sizes, <laughs> so I had to scale down. So those are just some of the numbers uh, of Kenya in terms of uh, the population densities. And I think some, these are some of the projects that uh, we have done as uh, the Federation of Slum Dwellers. This is one of the settlements uh, we did in situ upgrading. And uh, if you see uh, a lot of informal settlements in the city of Nairobi are still within the city boundaries. I think over a long period of time we have built resistance uh, in terms of addressing, saying that even slum dwellers, even poor people have a right to live within the city. So this is one of the projects that we did, and this also addresses the uh, issue that uh, was raised by Gautam. Uh, we looked at uh, uh, the issues of housing just beyond the four walls. You look at the entire socioeconomic activity. It also feeds on what uh, Elias was saying. Uh, housing should be done by all. I think 15 years ago, we had a very romantic idea that uh, where people can save money, do their own houses, and we set up a small fund, but then we realized we cannot be able to build a house for every slum dweller in the city of Nairobi. Uh, so this is the Kambi Moto project. Uh, so we also moved, uh, there was a time people were talking about scale. Uh, this is the railway location uh, project that we did. If you look at how people had built right next to the railway line, and uh, typically there was, I think, a train derailed, killed some people, and the typical government response is how do we relocate these people? And the plan was to relocate them 40 kilometers away uh, from the city. And then again, it also, they didn't look at the, these are people who are, these are communities who have been there for a very long time. Uh, their children go to school there, they, they do businesses there. So we intervened in this project and we started lobbying. And the first thing we did was to do an enumeration of all the people who are living along the rail line and was to push uh, the government to realize that there's an alternative way of addressing uh, relocations apart from evictions. So we pushed for this and eventually, sorry. so this is uh, the product. Uh, we had a project funded by the World Bank where we had 10,000 people who were facing evictions relocated to these houses. So this is another slide. So the, the other projects that we are doing now and the discussion we are having now, it's uh, everybody in the morning, I think there's a lot of talk about Kibera, but there's another slum which is right in the middle of industrial area uh, with a population.